What up, you should Tim Moose here. The upcoming Quark Jeepers Scribbles film is officially a go, and it's reported that Screen Media Films, who uh, acquired the rights for the third Jeepers Scribbles film, has acquired the rights for the uh, fourth one, which will be titled Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now, um, Screen Media, which handled the release of Jeepers Creepers 3, and they plan on giving the film a uh, North American release in fall 2021. The horror franchise will see some changes behind the camera, though, because controversial director Ricky Salva, who directed the first three films, will not be returning to direct. Instead, um, director Timo Berzinsolia, I think that's what he's saying, is in the director's show. If you guys know the story, I'm not going to go into any details with Ricky Salva, but if you guys know the story about Salva's personal life, you know why it's a good thing he's not returning, because, yeah. Anyway. The film, uh, the film um, unfolds as the uh, horror hound uh, festival. Ho Here's what it's supposed to be. The film unfolds as the horror hound festival holds its first ever event in Louisiana, where it attracts hundreds of geeks, freaks, and diehard horror fans from far and wide. Among among them is Fanboy Chase and his girlfriend Lane, who is forced to come along for the ride. But as the event approaches. Lane begins to experience uh, unexplained uh, primitive emotions and disturbing visions associated with the town's past, and in particular, local legend slash urban myth the Creeper. As the festival arrives and the blood-soaked entertainment builds uh, to a frenzy, Lane believes that uh, believes that something unearthly is, has been summoned and that she uh, is a Sarah Lane. Now, the original Jeepers Creepers premiered back in 2001, so. Perfect timing, it's gonna be the Schmuck and Person Keeper Street. So, so. Not bad. And of course, uh, we are getting Jonathan Brett coming back, that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, now, Jeepers Creepers uh, Reborn was shot in Jackson, Louisiana back in December and January, and it's currently post uh, production. So, wow, I, I knew they were actually, uh, not so long ago, it was of course announced that they were gonna be doing a Jeepers Creepers for, but I didn't even knew that they, uh, shot the film. Wow. Talk about, uh, yeah. Talk about, uh, keeping this, um, secret, huh? But, uh, anyway. I don't know, I'm still looking forward to checking out Jeepers Creepers. I mean, the first one I thought was really good. The second one, not so much. And I gotta say, I didn't mind the third one. Lots of people hated the third one, but I thought the third one was good. I mean, I actually saw that one in theaters, um, because it is the, uh, Phantom event, uh, thing, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the same thing with this. Anyway, but it is pretty good that they did not return the original director back because, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to show much details, but if you know about um, Rick Salva, you know why it's good that he's not returning. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still looking forward to checking out Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Uh, no actual release date, but it's set to premiere sometime in, uh, well, I mean, hey, hopefully movies are say I'm um, open by by the time this comes out, because that means we're going to be seeing the release of Quiet Place 2, uh, we're going to be seeing the release of Halloween, Letterface, so, you know, late 2021, could be pretty cool for the horror uh, genre. Anyway, uh, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on the soundings of the new Jeepers Creepers film, Jeepers Creepers Reborn? Do you like the sound of it? Have you ever even been a fan of the Jeepers Creepers franchise? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sahib.